Alright, what's going on guys? Chris here and welcome to the first video from Canada. Whoa. So, if you've been on my channel recently, you will have seen that I made a video saying I'm moving to Canada with massive caps lock title. It was a bit clickbaity. I'm sorry about that. Uh, a lot of you guys commented on that video saying check out cubing out loud. They're like the big store in Canada uh, where you buy your cubing products. So I checked it out and they actually also messaged me on Instagram and said they were going to send me a little welcome package. And that's what we actually have here. I have no idea what is in here, but Dave messaged me, said he wanted to send me some puzzles. And you know, I'm not going to say no. I couldn't bring that much stuff on the plane with me. So I only have one cube with me. I'm happy with any cubes that I can get, so let's just open this guy up and see what's inside. Okay, so here's our package. Obviously, I've just moved here, so my desk setup is a little bit weird. I will get it sorted out for you though, guys. I might buy like a stack mat or something, but for now, let's get this guy open. Okay. All right, here we go. So obviously here's the business card for cubing out loud. I have to admit I'd never heard of the store before I moved to Canada. So thank you guys for suggesting that I do check it out. Seems to be a really awesome place to buy your cubes. In terms of the cubes in the box, we obviously have the Diane Zanchi 2017, which I think is this guy. We have the Mo You Ready cube in white, which is this guy. And then we have the Penrose cube, which is this guy. And I didn't actually know these were out yet. I saw that they were coming out and I got really excited about it because this looks awesome. Okay, so we'll start with the Ready Cube just because I already have tried it out on camera and I know kind of what it's like and how it turns. Uh, but I'm really glad that I do actually have one of these in Canada because it was one of my favorite puzzles back in England and I did love to solve it. So I can continue doing that over here. All right then, so. For those of you that don't know, the Ready Cube is kind of like a corner twisting puzzle um, and it's made by Moyu, came out very recently and it's kind of like a Dino Cube or a Rex Cube. Uh, it's a really awesome puzzle and it's made to a very, very high quality by Moyu. It's a really great puzzle and I do really enjoy solving it. It doesn't take that long to learn how to solve and once you've got the method, it also doesn't take that long to solve it. So. It's a pretty neat puzzle, I really like it, and I'll be solving that a lot over here. Okay, so next up we're going to take a look at the Diane Zanchi 2017. And for those of you that might be new to cubing, Diane was actually the leading speed cube maker back in about 2012-2013. And then they kind of fell off the radar actually. So it's really awesome to see Diane kind of coming out with new puzzles. I just wonder if it's going to be good or not. So aside from destroying the box, this is the puzzle here. Uh, and I've heard kind of mixed reviews about it. Some people say it's great, other people say it's not. So let's give it a try. Okay, so that's, that's actually really okay actually. Uh, it doesn't feel like a Zanchi, I, I can say that much. Obviously before you can evaluate a cube properly, you've got to do a lot of solves on it, you've got to tension it, maybe even lubricate it. Uh, so I will have to kind of play around with this a little bit. But so far, it seems to be okay. Um, I've seen negative reviews and I can kind of see where people are coming from. It feels a little bit unstable actually. Uh, we don't have corner twists, which is fortunate. I was worried that that might be a thing. Um, if it was looser though, I imagine it probably would. Um, but yeah, the only problem I'm really having is it feels quite unstable. I feel like I'm not entirely in control of the puzzle. Um, but I might just do a solve anyway, just to show you guys what it feels like. Alright, there you go. So... That was an okay solve actually. I got a couple of lockups, especially when I was doing those final algorithms. And again, it just didn't feel that stable. I wasn't massively in control of it during the solve. Obviously this Sanchi is just out of the box, but it's not quite up to scratch at the moment. I know you can do some modding. I know you can like tamper with it. You can do the tensions and the lube. But right out of the box, 
I have to say, it's not anything special really. It's not, it's not a terrible cube, it's just not a great cube and I don't know, I don't know if I'd recommend it when you can get much cheaper puzzles that, you know, are as good, if not better. So, yeah, there's the Zanchi. I'm not overly impressed by it, but I will still play around with it. You know, I'll probably still solve on it. I only have two 3x3s at the moment, so, you know, I will, I will definitely give it a chance, at least. Okay, and finalement, finally we have the Penrose cube, and basically this is just a 3x3 shape mod, but it only has three colours. It has this red, this blue, and this white, and of course, we have these curved edges, so it gives the illusion that we have only three faces on the puzzle, and technically we do. If you kind of discount the centers, we have one face here, one face here, and then another face here, so it's a really cool and kind of confusing looking puzzle, and I think it is just a Z cube, and the Z cube 3x3s, you know, they're not incredibly great, but... They're just budget cubes that do the job, and this, this turns perfectly for a shape mod, to be fair. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's cool, it looks awesome, and I'll probably do a Cancris solve on this, just to kind of get back into the schedule of making videos, and I feel like this would be a pretty cool one to do a Cancris solve on, just because it has only three colours, and it's a bit of a weird shape mod. I've never seen something like this before, and we might get some cool parity with these um f2l pieces so yeah keep an eye out for that this is a really cool puzzle and i can't wait to try and solve this all right then guys well that is it for this video thank you so much to dave from cubing out loud for sending me that package uh, it's really great to kind of receive parcels and be able to get back into things because i've just been so busy i've been so jet lagged and i needed a reason to make videos and there it is um, cubing out loud for those of you who haven't checked it out it's probably one of the biggest stores that I've seen in Canada. It has a really wide variety of stuff and I'll probably be buying from there while I'm here in the country. Um, for those of you Canadians that are watching, definitely check it out. It's a pretty cool store. As for what's going on in my life right now, obviously things are changing. I don't really have a desk set up at the moment. Uh, I actually switched places halfway through the video. I was filming over here to begin with and then I was filming on the desk behind just because the sunlight kept moving. So I'm really sorry about that disruption, but I will get something sorted out as soon as possible and we'll get back to making regular videos. All right, but that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, remember, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and then of course subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.